Hello everyone, in this video clip, Chris Ayers talks about the dynamics of turning your passion into your career. He speaks about the tricks that he's employed to avoid burning out as an artist, because if he's illustrating every day for his job, he doesn't want to lose that passion and desire to illustrate for fun on his own. Chris was told from a very young age, as I think a lot of us are, to avoid turning your passion into your career because it's so easy to lose interest and lose a love for that. But he's managed to maintain that over time. Also, link below, I will have my full video conversation with Chris Ayers, where we talk about his journey with cancer and how he deals with transitions in life. I will also be releasing a podcast next week that includes more background information about this conversation and some content that I couldn't fit into these video clips. But without further ado, here is Chris Ayers on turning your passion into your career. How is it when your passion becomes your career? Because I think it's so easy to get burnt out, especially in creative ventures, when it's more regimented. So how do you keep that passion alive, or has it never really been a problem? Uh, no, it, it's been definitely I've run into that. Um, and actually, one of my um, co co-workers uh, in the film industry, he's... Um, several years older than me, uh, but he, uh, he, I remember him saying once that, um, you know, uh, don't ever do what you love to do for a job mm -hmm. because it's going to kill it for you. Yeah. Um, and I, I can understand where he's coming from. I don't personally uh, agree to that extent, but I, I, I think it's probably different for every, every individual, but, um, uh, there, there were times um, when it's been more challenging to get, be motivated for, to, to create art. Um, and, uh, you know, shortly after I moved out to LA and, and got some opportunities working in, in the film industry as a, a character designer and concept artist, um, I think it was on, uh, you know, my second or third project probably. Uh, and, I was, I was working on it, and I was having a lot of fun, but at the same time, uh, it wasn't as rewarding as it had been a year ago or a few years ago, and just the process of creating art wasn't as fulfilling to me, and that scared me. That was like, whoa, this I'm not used to this feeling. I mean, this is my, my I was just talking about, this is my go-to source, mm -hmm. my, my source of my rock, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, so that I, I had to uh, kind of figure that out. And so what I did was um, I realized that I hadn't been doing much art for myself and it was all for the job and doing for freelance for other clients outside of the day job. And, and so what I did was uh, I gave myself, uh, I just said, all right, after work, go to a coffee shop and uh, sit down and, and just hang out there for an hour and draw and uh, partly it was to avoid rush hour traffic yeah. <laughs> <in LA. clears throat> but, but uh, part of it was to give myself no rules and say alright well I, the only rule basically was I can't draw for anybody else during this time it just has to be solely for myself my personal enjoyment and so I did that uh, and pretty soon it was like oh Hey, this is this is fun, you know. Mm. Art is fun again. Drawing mm -hmm. is fun, and not that it it had been completely not fun, uh, but it some of the enthusiasm that I had for art would had been um, been going away, and uh, and so then I started doing this coffee shop thing more more frequently. Uh, I started off with like once a week, and then it was two, three, four times a week, and pretty soon I just found myself. Um, doing that a lot and I realized wow this is it's making it's bringing the, the life back to my excitement for for creating and um, and so then that taught me just the importance of especially if you are going into a field um, and a career that is one of your passions uh, be aware that that you can run into the issues like burnout and stuff and so you know you have to I think it's probably a good idea to save some of that passion for yourself mm. and so you know if you're a chef for example um, and you're 
cooking for other people uh, all day long and stuff, and especially if maybe you're not, if this isn't your restaurant, if you are working for somebody and somebody else has input on the menu and the types of things and how you're supposed to be preparing food, um, you know, it'd be probably be wise to save some of that energy and uh, be able to explore your own um, culinary adventures on your own time too where and for me with art you know I, I do my own personal projects on the side in addition to the professional work and that just it helps me keep things in balance and it helps keep my creative batteries recharged because mm -hmm. I found that uh, creating for other people is very fulfilling and but it's fulfilling in different ways than creating for myself and I, I both of them have uh, great things to offer, but it's just, I found that it's important for me to kind of keep a balance between those two mm -hmm. pursuits to help keep me sane and help keep art fun for me too.